Shalom, my dearly beloved, I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying and he gave me a prophecy about the three days of darkness. Amen. Now, I know some people out there are scoffing, saying it's not real, it's not coming. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. Amen. Matter of fact, the Lord said in Matthew 24, 29, that before his return, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. So there's no point running around shouting, Jesus is coming back. Everyone's having rapture dreams. Jesus is coming back. And we're not looking at the signs that he said that would happen prior to his return. And one of those signs that he said was that the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. Amen. The Lord spoke of this darkness. Amen. But before I go into the prophecy, I just want to give a little backstory for those who are not aware of the three days of darkness or for the brothers and sisters to understand how is it that I came to be in the knowing and the revelation of the three days of darkness. So first of all, I heard a sister Carrie Ann Gidden, a prophetess from the Lord, declared that the Lord given her a vision that she saw three days of darkness. In her dream, she took from it that you was not meant to be outside in the darkness there will be demonic activity and you must be inside and close your windows and cover them. The Lord then revealed to her another vision about the freedoms of darkness where he revealed to her that it will be in April. He wasn't specific what year or what April but he made it clear it will be April and it will begin around 10.30 and it begun to sweep over the land, the whole world. Now the Bible says it will happen at 12 noon. Amen. So if it starts at 10.30 and begin to slowly sweep, then maybe around noon the whole world would be in darkness. Midday. Amen. The Lord then later revealed to her again that on the 7th of this April month, it will still be dark. Amen. At the 7th, on 7.30, it will still be dark. So I was going to the Lord and I was saying, Lord, you know, like, you're giving her a lot of revelations about this, this three days of darkness, like as if it's soon. You know, I need you to speak more to me. So the Lord gave me a vision of my own. Not the same night that I prayed afterwards. And I too had the three days of darkness. And in my three days of darkness, people went outside and they died. The demon activity out there was plenty. Now I was away from my family, so I wanted to travel through the darkness to get to them because my thought was, oh, I'm anointed man of God. I'm God's chosen servant. I can go through the darkness. I'll be fine. I couldn't survive it. I had to run back inside quickly. I was being, it was too much. You're not meant to be in the darkness. Amen. And so more time had gone by and I felt in my urgency, in my spirit, like, seek the Lord on this thing. It is coming. It is coming soon. So I went to bed one night before I went to sleep. I was praying to the Lord about it. And as I lay down to sleep, I was talking to the Lord in my mind about it. And when I woke up in the morning, I saw a notification on my phone that a sister Kate from Africa somewhere, the Lord revealed to her the feeders of darkness and he told her it will be on a Sunday. So now the Lord had revealed the month is April. He's now revealed that it will be on a Sunday. And he's also revealed that on the 7th, it will still be dark. So the Lord led me then to research what Sunday, three days later, will still be dark on the 7th. 2021 is the only year. 2022, 2023, 2024, that will make the three days of darkness five days long, six days long. The Bible says it's three days long. So the Lord had now confirmed to me that it has to be this year. So I was praying about it and I'm like, Lord, you know I'm on here sharing your word. I will not be held accountable for sharing anything that is wrong. I will not be one of those people that lead your people astray and give them false messages. I have to be sure. You have to confirm it. The Lord, not only did he confirm it to me, but he also visited me and he explained to me why he's doing it. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I'm about to give you the prophecy that the Lord has given me. 
he's also giving me a few scriptures also i will also share these scriptures but please brothers and sisters whether you cover your windows with paint i've personally used bin bags and duct tape i've already covered my windows it's only a week away brothers and sisters do not go outside if you hear a voice that sounds like someone you know do not even open the door it's a demon imitating the person's voice because no one will survive in the darkness amen so without going into too much let me just get straight into the prophecy right now so and this is the lord speaking amen this isn't my words amen and the lord said i have had enough of this sinful generation they tarnish my name they walk all over my precious royal blood and make a mockery of my sacrifice on Calvary they disregard my love my mercy my grace and my patience now they will see I'm also a God of wrath did I not open up the ground and swallow up all who stood against Moses because of their ungrateful complaining after all I had done for them? Did I not send darkness over the land and kill the children of Egypt because of Pharaoh's disobedience to let my people go? Did I not say in my word that I caused the sun to shine on the just and the unjust? Once again, I am forced to display my wrath on those who say they know me but foolishly continue in their sins and who reject and pridefully boast they have no need of me. Whilst weeping, I said, Lord, is this what you want me to say? He said, yes, my son. As my word says, I chastise who I love. After this event, there will be a small window left to repent. Then, just like the days of Noah, I will shut the door of the ark. The door of my grace will be closed. Choose now whether you want to be in the arms of my safety or outside in the flood and destruction and death. Brothers and sisters, I'm shaking right now as I'm reading this message because I remember the Lord's present. He wasn't happy. I had a vision of him. He just had fire in his eyes. He was just standing there with fire in his eyes. And I, 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 I just know that the Lord didn't, didn't want to do it. He's like he was saying in my spirit, like, I don't even want to do this. But my children are not listening to me. They're not listening to me. I remember the first time that I punished my daughter for being naughty. I went to the other room and I cried. I didn't even, I didn't even want to punish her. I cried. And the Lord is just weeping because he doesn't want to do this. But if he doesn't do it, if the children of Israel, God's people, are not going to wake up. Brothers and sisters, sisters, please share this message. Please share this message. Because the three days of darkness will be on the 4th of April, 2021. I believe today is the 27th of March. That's literally leaving eight days. Eight days remaining. Cover your windows. Store up on three days of food. Buy candles. Or may the grace of God, the power of the Holy Spirit will give you light. Prepare. Prepare, prepare, repent, fast and pray, repent, fast and pray, repent, fast and pray. The Lord doesn't want to do this. And then he gave me these scriptures. And I realized afterwards the scriptures basically told us, basically what he said, he said it through the scriptures. Amos chapter 8 verse 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon. And I will darken the earth in the clear day. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, have mercy, Jesus. 
Romans chapter 1 verse 18 For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who has the truth in unrighteousness. Romans chapter 2 verse 5 But after thy hardness and impenitent heart treacherous up only unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Numbers Numbers 16 32 and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertaineth unto Korah and all their goods. Exodus chapter 10 21 to 23 And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand towards heaven, and there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Exodus 12, 29. And it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeons. Dungeon. And all the firstborn of cattle. Matthew chapter 5 verse 45 That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Hallelujah. Proverbs 3.12 for whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Hebrews 12, 6 For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Genesis 7 16 and they went in and they that went in went in male and female of all flesh as God had commanded him and the Lord shut him in hallelujah oh Jesus Amos 8 Verse 11 Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, prepare, repent, and share this message. For those that are not aware, we have a week to get this message to their ears. Share on your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever, whatever platform you have. Share it, share it, share it. And pray for your family members and pray for your friends and pray for those that you don't know. Pray for God's mercy upon this world. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and prepare us. Let us repent. Let us repent. Let us repent. Shalom.